So it's, it's Monday morning, and um, she hasn't slept much last night, did you? No, um, not really. I I slept maybe maybe four hours. I may be generous with four hours. I think I I got to sleep about half twelve one ish. Then I was awake at um, two thirty because my hips hurt. Uh, then I couldn't get back to sleep again until about four and um about six well six so so yeah not much sleep hence my eyelids are about as thick as my fucking eyebrow at this point <laughs> I can't I can only see a, I can only see a very thin um you know at the moment everything I can see is like a widescreen perspective because my eyes are so fucking they're so uh puffy but yes yeah, so I have just finished uh Another reason they may be puffy is because I've just finished my fourth hysterical cry of the night slash morning, depending on how you're going to rate it, seeing as 12 is technically morning, I suppose. But yeah, so I'm in rather a lot of pain, and I've got my first conundrum of the day. I'm going to say conundrum by impossibility, uh, which is I've got, a doctor's appointment. <clears throat> I've got a doctor's appointment at 9.40. Sorry, my throat's still really sore from me. <coughs> Everything. <laughs> But yes, I have a doctor's appointment at 9.40 and I don't know if I'm going to, well, I know I can't physically get there, so my next challenge is A, trying to stay asleep and wait till 8 o'clock, because you can guarantee that I'll bloody fall asleep as soon as I need to get up for an appointment, and I'm going to try and ring up and um, keep ringing to see if I can speak to somebody about either arranging a telephone um, appointment. In um, which case, I'll also get Nick to be ringing me every 45 seconds to make sure I'm awake because um, I'm scared of falling asleep um, or home visit because it, the last week I've probably been averaging about four hours and um, I'm kind of used to pain and I'm kind of used to pain somnia, but oh, the cumulative effect of not being able to lie on either side or my front or my back is making it incredibly hard to sleep or rest. And there's only so many painkillers you can take, CBD or it's how pain for drops and massage all, but there's only so much of that I can use because I can't reach where I need to put it, which is another one of life's beautiful little ironies. Uh, and it costs a bloody fortune as well, and it's not exactly like I'm rolling in money with my career at the moment. <laughs> so yes, uh, I've got that one to sort out. Uh, and it's taken me over a month to get the appointment. Well, I actually, no, this one, I've been waiting a month, but it took me a month and a half to get the original appointment with my doctor, and I have to have a name doctor, because otherwise I'm taking far too much time up trying to explain my conditions, which means that I end up taking up more than the 10-minute allowance for an appointment, and it's very hard to get a double appointment. And it's incredibly unfair on everyone else because that just means that I have a knock-on effect on the day the doctor's appointments for everyone else. And we all know that it's an incredibly long, drawn-out process to go to the GP unless, of course, you're late, in which case you've missed your appointment. So, yay for me on Monday morning. Happy Monday, mate. Thanks.